Power does what it wants. Power does what it wants. Power does what it wants. All right, guys, Rogue Nation here with you. I'm out here today with Big Nick, South Florida Accountability, and uh, we are in Bell Glade at the Palm Beach County Administration Building. Good. How are you today, ma'am? Um, we're just in the area. We're taking a tour of all the public buildings, and we wanted to see if there was any public information, see what offices are open. We're independent journalists, so we wanted to let our subscribers know what services are available now that COVID started retreating. Um, I see you're wearing a mask. Is that a mandate in the county now? Uh, okay. All right. Is that just for employees? Oh, both? Even if you're vaccinated? Really? Is that like a Palm Beach County order? Because I know it's not statewide. No, um, we just do it for our own thing. Oh, all right. All right. Well, thank you, ma'am. I don't see any public brochures, maybe one or two. Do you not have a lot? This is just utilities, right? Water, that kind of stuff. Okay. Is it simply payment? Yeah, I know I see it on the door, but that's not what the law says. Okay. Okay. Where does it say that? On the front door right there. Oh, uh, yeah, that doesn't mean nothing. Well, we have a right to come out and observe our public workers in the course of their duty. Did she say she was getting her boss? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we can explain that to him. I like this little artwork type deal thing they got going on here. That's pretty cool. We always find it interesting that they don't want us to come out and record them, but everywhere we go, they have their cameras up surveilling us. And why is it good for them and not for us when we're the actual ones who provide um, funding for this place? Is there a window into their madness? Yeah, they just went into another office. See, this is the part where they start enforcing their feelings over our right to do so. We have an absolute right to redress our government. We have an absolute right to, to audit, to see where our dollars are going, to make sure that there is no misuse of our funding. But yet and still, because they're not trained on that, because they're not taught to respect the very people that make it possible for them to have employment, to send their kids to good schools, to put food on their table, they're not taught to respect us. So this is the vibe that we try to close. This is the bridge that we try to um, gap here. Man, that. You are you guys getting nervous at all right now? No. Mm. No. This well, the, this is the dance. This sure. is the dance that we all play, and basically we come in. Again, we might ask a couple of questions. We want to look around the lobby, see if there's any public information. And then it starts with, well, let me talk to my supervisor and find out if you're allowed. Let me do this and see if you're allowed. And then, you know, somebody else will come out and, no, you're not allowed to do that. And the next thing you know, they call the cops and the cops come. And, you know, from there it can go one of two ways. The cops can know about our rights and respect them 
or they could escalate it further by trespassing us off the property and, you know, trying to, to force us to ID. Uh, the state of Florida is good. It's got a lot of good case law that uh, we can use. Um, so, you know, if they want to trespass us off the property, I'm okay with that. That's a violation. Um, and, and I'll leave under threat of arrest. Um, but, uh, you know, this goes to show that, you know, citizens that aren't doing anything illegal, uh, how they, you know, try to, to boss and bully us around. Now, if we didn't have the cameras, it's still the same thing. It's exactly the same thing. If I come in here and for some reason she doesn't like me, maybe we went to high school together. You know, maybe she doesn't like me and, and, and she's, well, I'm not serving this guy. And, you know, there's all kinds of issues and they call the police and, and stuff like that. And, and I don't have a camera. There's no documentation of it. But that, that stuff happens all the time. All you have to do is read the reviews on, on Google for a lot of these government institutions, a lot of these government buildings, and you'll find exactly those same stories. And also one of the major problems, one of the major issues um, with this is that we really don't want this type of interaction. You know, we really do prefer them to be professional, to answer the questions courageously, and to understand that we are the people. When they, when they took this job, they took it to be a public servant, but most of them are just here for a paycheck or pension, and that's where the disconnect comes in at. So we have someone coming to address us now. In and out. She's walking away from work. Boom, boom. Uh, you are? I'm the manager. Your name? Can you please um, put that down? How can we assist you? Your name? How can we assist you? Well, I will first, as a member of the public, I will first like to know public servants, I would like to know who they are. Yvette, and you're the manager here? Yes. No, we just come out to observe you in the course of your duties, which we have every right to do so. It, we actually have a constitutional right to come out and watch you work. Okay. As long as we're not interfering or going into any restricted areas. Okay, and what is it that you guys are looking for? Or what is it that you guys are... To watch public servants, public workers in the course of their duties. Okay. Yeah, we hadn't specifically asked the young lady for anything. She asked what we were doing, and I, I explained to her, we're journalists, we're in the area, we're gathering public information, any kind of information, that kind of stuff like that. And she had told us... ...that any time that the media, any reporting is involved, that it goes through our public information services? Well, no, that... that ...the number that you would contact, um, I believe that there has to be prior authorization? Well, that, that, that's incorrect. But I'll call them and let them know that they're incorrect. So that, that'll be fine. But, but basically, the Supreme Court has said anywhere the public's allowed, the press is allowed. And that kind of makes sense, right? Because if the public could go where the press couldn't, we, we wouldn't need the press, would we? Oh well, yeah, no. Like like I said, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll definitely call them and let them know they're wrong, and and hopefully they'll update you on the policy. But um, I'm just letting you know that as a, as a, as an American, me and you, you know, when you're not working for the for the government, when you're out and about you're doing your thing, then then you have a right to record wherever the public's allowed to be. Okay. All right. And do you understand that him and I are the ones that fund this place? So why can't what, so why would you have to go text it? Are you saying that we're not text This is a secure location, though. Beh behind the window, it is. Behind yes. the window, is secure. Was behind the window. But if I can see it, I can record it. Right. I mean, that's. Mm -hmm. Have you ever heard the plain view doctrine? Okay. So you know, if you don't want anybody to see back here, our policy, and that is our policy that you get contacted. Right. Oh yeah, no, no, absolutely. But as long as we understand that policy doesn't trump rights, like you could have a policy that says no black men allowed, that doesn't trump his right to come in here, does it? Yes or no? Well, I don't know about a policy that says no black men allowed. Okay, but what I'm a saying policy. is a policy does not trump law, right? They can set a like policy you, you, you that can't, you well can't, have. you can't make a policy that restricts my rights, correct? Uh, yes. Okay. That was the same thing here. 
Oh, absolutely. Better safe than sorry. But it, again, I told her we're journalists. We mean no ill will. We're just looking for public information. We're making sure that everything is going according to the way it should be going. Because as you know, there's a lot of corruption in government. There's a lot of, of stuff that's going on that shouldn't be. And without citizens to overlook that, we kind of got to rely on the government. And is the government going to tell on itself? Probably not. You know, just like the mafia, they, they're not going to tell on themselves, you know? So, Wait, can I ask you a question? Um, What's the difference between this camera? Okay, no, no, no. What's the difference between this camera and that camera? You're going to refer me from making any other comments about it? Refrain me? So you're going to take away my First Amendment right? I'm going to refrain. From answering? Does it have to do with an account or something that I can provide you something? Okay, so you can provide me with something. I have something you can provide me with. Okay. So now I'm going to do a public uh, record request for um, all of the, uh, the, the pencils and pens and um, paperwork. So now I need that information. Oh, so we're going to publicly request any office supplies. Uh, office supplies the cost of. Mm -hmm. That sounds good. Including trash bags. I want to see the invoice for the sanitizer. Yeah, how much, how much money are they cost? spending on this stuff? So what we're about to do now is a public. What we're about to do now is a public record request. Um, we're since we pay for all of this stuff, we want to see how much they're paying for it. Uh, Brooks is taking. How did he sneak in on us like that? How the hell did he sneak in on us? I, I don't know, dude. I just turned around and he was there. Oh, I saw him the whole time. <laughs> he sneaked in. I was trying to, like, I saw him, too. Wow. That never happened. I wonder if they locked up. No. Coming back to do our public records request. Yep, and there's the, there's the officer. What's going on, fellas? Hey, buddy. How y'all doing? What's your name? Another day, number? another dollar. Right. Are you starting? You the start number? I don't have to start number. Right? Badge number. Right? Badge number. Eight three eight six. Eight three eight six. Morel. Yep. yep. Thank you, Officer. Awesome. Pretty good. How about you? Wonderful. Pretty good. Change. South Florida, man. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Beautiful. Do they? Did they give you guys a policy on recording in here? Yeah, but we also gave them the law too. Yeah. Okay. Law trumps policy. Well, we have the right to address our government. We also have the right to observe our government in the course of their duty. I got so you. by them denying the press, it's against our First Amendment right. Okay. Even though they have a policy, mm -hmm. law trumps policy. Well, this might go over that just because of the water type thing. Now, courthouse, maybe yeah, you can walk in. Yeah. It, the only reason I'm saying that because just in case it's something to do with maybe uh, I don't know. Well, well, no, no, I'll stop you right now. That. I'll stop you right now, deputy. Yeah. If we were in a secure area. Mm -hmm. That might be so. Okay. Yeah. But this right. is an absolute public, public lobby. Area. I got you. I got so, you. So yeah, there's no. And, and this is a secure area back here. And and I'll, back there. yeah, and now, I'll I'll give now, you now we're working. And yeah. I'll give you the law in two quick Supreme Court decision of Brandsburg v Hayes. Uh, paragraph 13 says that the press has no greater right of access than the general public, meaning anywhere the general public is allowed, the press is allowed. I agree with 100%. Okay. The 11th, I understand what you're saying yep. about this general, about this being the public, in the public area. Right, right absolutely. Yeah. And, and, and Smith v. Cumming out of the 11th Circuit states that we have a right to record our officials in the course of their public duties. Okay. So th those are the two case laws that we rely upon. Besides the First Amendment, which the the bare essence of it is to keep track of government. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because back back then there was no Kim back Kardashian. Back then, I'm just going to ask you. I mean, what's it? The recording area in here in the lobby. Well, we we 
no, we're no. Ex well, exactly. Yeah, and we're not coming for people. We're, again, we're coming to see how the public officials are doing their job, making sure they're not over here on Facebook or, you know what I mean? That's like, what I'm asking when you guys are Right, right. No, we're, we're government accountability uh, uh, reporters, and uh, we come in to see how the government is, is acting, how they're treating its citizens, what information is available to the public, and if they try to violate our rights. Okay, cool. And, and yeah. how would you feel about this, Deputy? If you're yeah. not working, you're just a regular citizen, mm -hmm. and you come in here, you see every piece of paper that they use to copy on is that expensive resume paper. Uh, I have no idea how much right. no, no, I don't know how much it costs. Right. I, mean, I couldn't even say. That it. wouldn't bother you? Like, wow, yeah. why do they have to use resume paper? And well, then everybody in here is using that resume paper. Like I said, I, I have no idea how much the paper is. I don't even know what resume paper right. is. So, well, it's, 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 it's a little bit know. thicker paper if the than. the county is putting that out, then that's the county. That's not the employees here. But that's me, though. Okay. That's Maybe me. And I would like to know why are you spending my money when the basketball court in the in the um, inner city is torn down, but they're yeah. using, I mean, just scenarios like that. That, so be, that's why that should be something here. possibly take up with the county commission, not right. the employee. Well, no, but first, buy the paper. Right. Well, exactly. well, first, we have to see the paper. We have, yep, we have, we, 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 we have to, I don't know if they have, no, they're not, that was, a, that, was just, not that was just an example. Yeah. yeah, and what we do is we see the injustice, mm -hmm. we make public record requests wherever we're at, like we're waiting, we're, we've been waiting for a lady to come take his public record request. Um, which again is lawful Florida State Statute 119. We're allowed to go in any public office and make public record requests. Uh, so they've denied him service so far. Okay. Uh, but right, yeah. If there's a login book, we can actually see the login book. Right? Uh, I don't think there's a login yeah, book. Yeah. No, there, there yeah. isn't, but it's another scenario. But, but again, yeah, basically, so we asked for a public records request. They kind of were squirrely on it. So we went over into the next area to check out what's going on over there. Public uh, supervisor of elections. Um, DMV. DMV, you know, that, that sort of thing. They were very helpful over Patrick there. Patrick came out, explained what he did. Patrick came there. out, yeah. They were literature. I mean, we, I, we do this all over the state. I do this all over the country. I, got so. I don't know what a public records uh, well, Florida's, is. Well, uh, Florida is. I don't know if they supply you guys one or the actual county well, courthouse supplies it. Or well, well, and, and I'm, 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 what it is. Yeah, yeah, and I'm, I'm well versed in the, the public records law and, Basically, any agency that creates a public record is the custodian of that record. Okay. Now, what they did was a couple of years ago, there were some gentlemen that were going around asking for public records requests, and they were being denied. Mm -hmm. Okay, now as soon as they were denied, these guys were filing lawsuits against them. Okay. All right, so what the, the state did was they said, okay, before you can file a lawsuit for a public records request, you have to submit that record request to the custodian of that county's records, okay? Mm -hmm. So now every county has a custodian of public records. Mm -hmm. However, that does not take away the obligation of each individual agency being able to take a public record request and providing that record request. Would it be you. individual agency or would it be In, including you? the main water department? like the actual No, no, not department. the main water department. For example, each independent location has what's known as an MSDS, Material Safety, Safety Data, Data Sheets, okay? Those, that should be a general data sheet that's all over the county that you well, can get at the main office. Possibly, but or a even lot of online. times. Have you tried online? Well, I, I got actually a weird phobia of computers, so my. Oh, you know, but you're right. Well, you're this is this, this is a this is a phone. Yeah, you're really pretty good. So. Well, th this is a phone, and, and, and my. How, what, how are you gonna How are you gonna upload that? Just well, my wife phone. does all that. Yeah, my wife does all that, but yeah, I, I, it's it's. It's kind of. Let me see where the difference can come in at. Yes. I can actually get a public record request from you. Okay. If you take a picture of me with your personal cell phone Correct. while you're on duty, that becomes a public record. I, it, now, it, it, you it, don't have to provide me with that picture right now, mm -hmm. but you do have to take my public record request okay. for, for that record. Right? Then I would go to your department and they would make it available for me. Okay. So, anybody, like you said, any custodian of that public record mm -hmm. is obligated by law to release it to the public. But you're going to have to go to the lawyer because it probably won't release you nothing here. Well, yeah, they, 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 so, well, 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 they don't have to. Have to take right. Well, they don't have to release it per se, but they do have to take it. Even, take even, it. even, even if the record's not here, okay. by law they're required to take that request okay. and then forward it to so whoever. Gonna, what are you going to do? Well, nothing. I mean, we, yeah, up, we yeah, even yeah, have yeah. to leave. But well, we're not going to do anything. But it's no, a it's denial of service, and they can be sued for it. Not saying that I won't sue for it. You can try to sue the county. But yeah, yeah. Well, well I, I do all the time, actually. Yeah. yeah. How's um, it work out for you? Great. Uh, great, actually. 
that, so, might, that might be something you're going to have to go through here. I yeah, guess, you know? yeah. Well, so we're not suing because they hurt our feelings. They sued. We're suing because they violated our rights. And they and broke the no law. two ways about it. Okay. So if we can prove they violated our rights, it goes great. Yeah. And cool. a lot of times we're able to prove it because we document it. Yep. No worries. Yep. So that, that's what, basically what we're doing here. We're just waiting for them to come take our request. If they don't want to take our request, that's, that's fine. fine. We'll chalk it down as a denial of service. I'll ask them real quick. Yeah, ask them, please. And then, yeah, and then also, also by please us do. being here, it saves resources. So the next time photographers or journalists come in here, mm -hmm. you guys don't have to respond. You guys can be out saving old ladies from getting pushed down. Because what, you're, what we're doing now is educating them that we're completely lawful. And we're also giving you education that, but you, you guys are cool. We're, we're out of that. You guys are cool. We're out of like a record yeah, request. So, You'd have to take that up with somebody. But if you can let them know when you go back there, hey, they have a right to be out there. But that's our policy. So, I, I mean, I, I'm not going to You can say you, they have a I policy. We acknowledge it yeah. as that policy, but we're asking that you make sure they know that we have a right to be out here. I got you. We're yeah. not in handcuffs. You're not taking us to jail because oh. it's not illegal. We're having a, we're having a conversation. But it's we different. can have a conversation, but if they don't know, it's not helping. Well, I'll, I'll buy them and see where this Thank is. Thank you. Yeah. How did that go? Better than we suspected. Yeah. But yeah. it's the sheriff. Yep. <laughs> they have experience with this type of um, communication. And, and their agency does. Yeah. yeah, their agency does, and they should have been putting out memos that even that these guys have never seen us before, they should know that there are people, people in the area cameras, yeah. yes, that are recording public buildings. So They went better than we expected, though, yeah. than I expected. Yeah, definitely. The um, the first officer is definitely a tyrant. Oh, yeah, he's definitely. The first one? He's Brooks? On, yeah, Brooks. Definitely a tyrant. He's on the watch list. Yeah, now. he's a tyrant. <laughs> I cut. I'm sorry, did you come to take my public records request now? Still no? Seems like a denial of service to me. That's what it's looking like <laughs> to me. You go through the window here. Oh, he's getting, he's getting the window. <coughs> I mean, uh, go ahead, Nick, you can go above, I'll go below. I don't know if these cops just ruined the jail for us. I mean, I mean, really, we can cut these in two, Nick. Yeah. We can cut that in one with Brooks, and then yeah. we can cut a second one with this guy and Brooks. Yeah. So, <laughs> he was a, he was a ninja, so I mean, really, that, that's pretty good for you. I was know. like, I wanted to be cuckoo. <laughs> <laughs> Five oh. You got two of the best auditors here. And we didn't. Yeah, he's uh, a ninja. Uh, yeah, he's a ninja. He's, <laughs> <laughs> I turned around. Whoa. Yeah. That's why I said that I was like, I wasn't even ready to record. I had yeah. to come into that door and everything. Because, you know why? Because they didn't call. So we had no expectation that the cops would come in because we know they didn't. Like, trust me, I'm watching yeah. because I'm like, I don't, I, I, you guys are pros at this. And I'm like, uh, whatever you guys want. We're, We're also camera. keeping the heat on for your big camera because they're so focused on that. Oh, yeah. That's Although Brooks was checking them out. Yeah. When Brooks walked up and he, and he was behind Brooks, Brooks kept looking back real quick. <laughs> And and also when you were talking, I noticed dude, Brooks couldn't keep his eyes off you, Nick. He was always like, "I told you." Yeah, yeah. It freaks him out. It freaks him out. Brooks is definitely a tyrant. He is. Got water. But Brooks is the backup. Brooks is the backup. Mm-hmm. Here we go. <coughs> Nick, just be careful your levels. All right, sir. They don't have it here. Uh, I guess she told one of you two or one of you three earlier, this is the number to call, and you can get it at that location for this location. That, that's fine. That's just a denial of service. Like I said. All right. Well, um, that's, what, a, that's still, you're on record of me giving it to you. Oh, yeah. Able to get it for this location. Yeah, absolutely. All right, guys. Thank you, sir. Policy versus our right to do so. Take it easy.
I'm sorry, what? How did that conversation go? I explained to him. Policy versus right. Well, I explained to him they have a right to be, you guys have to be right out here to have you're a camera. Excellent. You're so, excellent. You're excellent. Uh, I also explained to them that they have a right if they want to get up, if uh, they yeah. answer your question and yeah. want to get up and walk away. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, as long as there's no customers in here. Yeah. Um, yeah. Absolutely. Morale. Morale. You're the reason why we do this, because we want to protect the people. Mm -hmm. Gentlemen, thank you. Be thank safe. You. Take care. Brooks, be safe. Big Nick South Florida Accountability with Rogue Nation at the Palm Beach County Utility Office. We're out. We'll follow these guys out and because uh, they the officers schooled them, told them that we had the right to be here, so they didn't kick us out. We're not running with them. So uh <laughs> it's kind of educated yep. by Activism News Network, Big Nick South Florida Accountability, Rogue Nation. This is what we do. Be safe. Here, let me go to slow motion if you guys coming out. They know me. Why do you slow motion? It's on your head. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, shit. You scared me. Oh, my God. Thank you. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Thank you. Oh, my God. Oh, they're locking the door. <laughs> we left something. I left something. <laughs> yeah, That's why you got this little low paying ass job, because you're a dickhead. <laughs> All right, hold on. So, when I say action, just. Just turn like you guys are just around the door. Okay. Well, I will. Yeah. Fishing. He also has an AR-15 and a Glock. 